I started off very shy and I gained a lot of confidence just as people here are like very friendly and they're helpful and are understanding about your like development. Audio Act is more like a hub where everyone wants to see you grow. But they try and help you rather yeah, exactly. than... Yeah, exactly. Yeah. For these provisions to work and for these to last and to have a real legacy, if young people aren't involved in shaping that, then us as adults, we get that stuff wrong. Mm. So we have to consult with them, we have to let them shape how it's going to work and give them an equal seat at the table of that process. If they don't consult with young people, it won't tailor to their needs anymore and it will slowly, it will just move with the generation that originally started with Audio Active rather than staying for young people. It's important to give the youth a voice and say what they want with their passion and their hobbies. The old ways of working are, are no longer going to be a thing anymore and uh, you know the youth are going to be taking over the world so it's really important that we actually um, prioritise and actually give platforms to the youth, giving them the opportunity to actually bring a change. Do you feel like your voice is taken into account at the moment? I think my voice is taken into account a lot. Any of the suggestions I've made, it's always been considered and I feel like I have a part in what goes on at Audio Active in the same. My voice is heard by everyone around me. Like, If I've got an idea, then I go see someone about it, you know what I'm saying? And, and it's heard and then it's processed and then, you know. When I was young and exploring music, you know, my musical side and my creative side, um, I realised I had a voice and I realised and I and I learned how to use it. Why do you think it's important for Audio Active to consult with young people? Um, just kind of echoing what all the young people have said really, which is they are the future. And I think that they should be involved in every single thing that happens in society. Would you like to get involved in a youth advisory board? Yeah, 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 100% because, you know, there's things like, you know, no criticism, obviously, but there's stuff that, you know, that could be extra added on to make Audio Active a better place. I guess so, yeah, I could do that, yeah. Yeah. I don't mind, but I don't feel like I'm someone who, who like, have an open mind about these kind of things. From personal experience, even just like allowing me a voice to express how I feel about audio active, you know, from the perspective of being a black, autistic and BPD, you know, suffering type of person. I would like to give my opinion on what I think could make audio active better. Youth energy always brings change, always gives us an edge, it allows us to be bold. The young people's voice is um, like central to the to the show. It's like the very foundation. We never set the parameters, we ask them what they want. That travels literally throughout the whole city because it's on the FM airwaves. Thousands of people um, hear it, which again I think is like just really validating and empowering for the young people to know. Their voice also feeds back through the whole organisation. If you want feedback or looking for new ideas, I guess yeah, it's good to have like inspiration from the people that actually are making music here. Having young people alongside established trustees um, is really the lifeblood for Audio Active. We need to hear lived experience and have it represented on our board. So I first started interacting with Audio Active actually through the rap sessions. And then I started working with Audio Active last year. It's not just useful because of the skills that it's given me, which it really has, but it's also feeling accomplished thing. 